In this example, we're asked to create Venn diagrams to illustrate De Morgan's laws for sets. There are two De Morgan's laws. Uh, they're listed here. I'm going to do one of these two and leave the other one for you guys to do. So I think I'll do the first one. Uh, this one says that the complement of A intersect B should be equal to the union of A complement with B complement. So to do this, I'm going to draw two Venn diagrams and then we'll compare the two, shade them both, and then we'll compare the two. So the first one that I'm going to draw is going to be for A intersect B complement. And here's what we'll do. Just draw a Venn diagram here. Remember, we have this universal set that lives outside. It's, it's the outer rectangular boundary. And then we have these, this one has two sets, so we need two circles, right? We'll call this one A and this one B. And at this point, I want to shade everything. Um, so th this one is going to be done in a couple steps. I'm going to use a highlighter to do it. But A intersect B, we know A intersect B is the overlap, right? It's the overlap of these two sets. So it's that portion right there. And then the complement of that is everything that is inside of S, of course, but outside of those two. So that means that the complement is all of this pink stuff here. And can just shade this in. All right, and now you're just watching me shade. Not the most exciting thing, but the pink here is is the answer, right? So the pink uh, or magenta colored shading, that is exactly what this corresponds to, right? So there we go. So the yellow in this case, you can just ignore, but the yellow is to get there. Now the second so the other side of this, right, is a little bit uh, more work to construct because we first have to take a couple complements and then take their union. All right, so again, we have our universal set, which I usually call S. Sometimes it's called U for universal. And then we have our two sets, A and B. This time we want to con construct or shade the A complement union with B complement. So we're going to start with, get my highlighter back here. We're going to start with A complement. So A complement is everything inside of S, right, that is outside of A. Now, outside of A means that it includes most of B, right, but it doesn't include uh, the portion of B that lives in A. So this is it. This is our A complement. There we go. Beautiful, right? There's A complement. And then we can take uh, B complement. We also need B complement. <clears throat> I'm trying to think of what color is going to look nice with this blue, um, but that's probably a lost cause. I'll use yellow. So B complement is everything that is outside of B, right? And that, again, includes most of A this time, but it does not include the portion of A that lives inside of B. All right, and so as we shade this in, we get this picture, and this time the portion that we want is everything that's shaded. The union means to take everything, right? Uh, everything that's shaded by any color, any color at all. And so this portion then has, so this side right here is kind of the, it's all of this, right? Anything that's shaded, any color at all. And notice now when we compare these two, remember the yellow over here was removed, right? So maybe we can even erase that. But the yellow is removed. And so at this point, we see that these two pictures, they're shaded in different colors, but they the portions that are shaded are exactly the same. All right? And so this is uh, a Venn diagram proof, I guess you could call it. It's more of, we'll call it a justification. Proof is going to be a stronger word for us moving forward in this class, but a justification using Venn diagrams that these two sets are equal to each other. All right, so at this point, after you turn off this video, once it ends, you should write down on your paper uh, the same exact thing that we've just done here, shade in both sides of this, and make sure uh, that you get the same picture for each one.